Welcome to you and all your parts. Hi, I'm Laura Lively. Last week, I walked you through an exercise to create a safe space in your imagination where your parts can go um, when they need to. And I wanted to kind of talk to you a little more about that this week and about how to use that safe space and um, how that can be helpful in your system. So at the beginning of COVID, the COVID pandemic, my mother, who has a lot of comorbidities, fell and broke her leg. And we were told that we could not go with her to the hospital. And so this was prior to any vaccine. There were a lot of people dying. It was, it, frankly, candidly, it was scary as hell to me and my system. I had parts of me start to panic. And I am so grateful that I had enough self-energy to say to them, you guys don't have to manage this situation. I will get us through this. Now, I had no idea what was going to happen. I had no idea if, I, if I'd ever see my mother again, but I had enough self-energy to say to those panicking parts, I've, I've got this. Can you give me some space and allow me to manage us through the situation? And so I asked some of my other manager parts, I was like, can you guys step up and take these scared, panicky parts somewhere safe? So I sent them to a beach. That's where they wanted to go that day. You could send them to the safe space that you created in your imagination from last week. And I knew I sent them to the beach because my parts love water. And I knew that they would, they would feel happy there. As my scared parts moved into that beach scene, I had a lot more calm in my system. And I was able to be more fully present with my mom and my dad as we tried to best navigate this kind of scary situation we found in. And I have since used this technique multiple times for my own medical stuff. When I go to the dentist and need Novocaine, I have a very visceral reaction. I shake, I cry. It's like someone shoots me with full of adrenaline. It took me like several years because I don't go to the dentist and need dental care that often to realize that it was the Novocaine. And it, it started freaking me out so much that I started dreading going to the dentist, even for just a cleaning, even because I, I didn't understand why I was having this, this physical, this very physical, visceral reaction. So now when I go to the dentist and need Novocaine, of course, I still have, I have the same physical, it's a physiological reaction, right? But I invite, before I ever leave the house, I invite my parts to stay home that don't want to go or I invite them to go to their safe space. So they can stay home in the guest room and read. They can go to their safe space. I let them know with some self energy that I will go to the dentist and I will pick them up on the way back. Now, when I go to the dentist, I will go even further in the parking lot and say, if anybody's here that doesn't wanna go, you can stay in the car. And so I invite them to stay in the car in case somebody tagged along, but then decided that, oh, Jiminy Christmas, I don't know if I really want to do this, right? So I let them know I will handle this and I will be done in less than an hour. I will be back within an hour. Once I'm finished at the dentist office, I let all of my parts know we're done. Doing it's like, I call it a little micro update with them, just so that those that have some anxiety will know whew, it's over. We're in the clear now. So don't be afraid to use your safe space, invite parts to go there when you have something to do that parts don't like, whether that's going to the dentist or just going to the grocery store. So thanks for being with me today. Uh, let me know if this resonates with you, Laura at lauralively.com. And until next time, love to you and all of your parts.